How's it going ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff with iDownload Blog. Let's talk about the new version of Find My iPhone and more specifically, let's talk about the new lost mode included with the new version of Find My iPhone. You see the new interface there? You have the play sound, the erase iPod or erase iOS device, depending on which device you're actually looking at right now. But let's open up lost mode. What it'll do is it'll prompt you for a passcode to lock the device. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna put in a passcode, one, two, three, four, to lock the device and now it's going to ask for the phone number that you want to display on the screen so that someone can get in contact with you once they find your device hopefully they're hopefully they're honest and they will actually give you a call and uh, return your device so put that in and then you can put a message in here as well so you can say hey I lost my I lost my iPhone or I lost my iPod touch I'll give you uh, 50 bucks if you return it to me so you can put that in here put any message in here that you want to and let me just note that these fields are optional you don't actually have to put them in but obviously it's to your advantage if you do put them in and once you do that you'll see your device lock here of course if the device isn't in your vicinity you won't see it but the person who recovers it will see your lock device just like this you'll see uh, of course lost mode on the find my iphone app you see the battery life as well of the device so of course you need battery life in order to actually track your device so hopefully you have a full charge when you lose it obviously you don't plan on losing it but hopefully circumstances work out that way so if you enter the wrong passcode of course it'll just say wrong passcode you can't do anything on the screen it just shows the, the messages you displayed and it also shows the phone number now interestingly what what happens if you turn off the device and then boot it back up like I'm doing here. Well, it still shows the lock screen right there. I lost my iPod, call me, it still shows the phone number, all that. Now, here's something interesting. I've disabled find or the lost mode on find my iPhone for my iPod. I've turned off the device. It still knows the last place where the device was is it's displayed here on the map. But what if I enable lost mode when the device is off and not currently able to be tracked well that's what I'm going to do right now I'm going to put in my number put in a little message here just help and then you see it says pending loss mode so it's pending because it can't actually reach out to the device because it's off I just took a screenshot there just ignore me it, it can't actually reach out to the device because it's off right now but once you turn it back on hmm what's going to happen well as you'll see right here I'm going to go ahead and unlock the device just go about my normal business and this will take a while to actually reach out uh, and pull for the device, but Find My iPhone will eventually reach out. It'll say, hey, the device is online now. Let me go ahead and initiate that lock that Jeff requested when it was off. So I'm just gonna act like I found this iPod Touch. I'm gonna browse to a website, I don't know, go to CNN or whatever. And um, eventually, it takes a few, few seconds here, but you'll see that it locks just like that see bam help and the phone number is right there for you to call so that is the new lost mode in the new find my iPhone app obviously the app has been completely revamped as far as looks are concerned it looks a lot better it sort of matches the new find my friends or not the new find my friends but the the little leather look of the find my friends app so I hope this was able to help you out get a better idea of how to use the new lost mode in find my iPhone let me know what you guys think in the comment section this is Jeff with I download blog